Okay. So that brings us to session number 25. Uh, after we did a makeup session uh, last week, we had the characters have finally collected all three of the dream chips uh, that turn people into uh, different personalities. So three personalities being Cleopatra, a power hungry um, person who's quite happy to stab anyone in the back literally. Then you've got Genghis Khan, the charismatic leader who's quite happy to stab anyone in the back literally. And then you get Jack the Ripper who will literally stab anyone as long as they think he thinks you're a prostitute. Um, not normally in the back though, and normally a slash rather than a stab. Well, it is from the back, and I did say stab. From the back, but not in the back. Slashy, 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 hack, hack. But, he's all better now. And the downside to these chips are the people who have put them in have no memory or awareness of the events that transpire while they have the chip. And even if it's somewhat something they wouldn't do themselves, while they've got the chip, they'll do exactly what the chip tells them to. Come on, we couldn't have had Keanu Reeves. Come on! <laughs> well, hey, it would have been interesting to have someone with the Neo chip. That would definitely be there. Even worse, you could be Johnny Silverhand. My case in point. <laughs> Except in that case, you actually see the person who's uh, sharing your brain space. In this one, they take over your brain space. I mean, there's plenty of vacant room with Logan's brain space. Want to say that much? So the intent is that we're back at uh, Maria's condo after collecting Jack the Ripper's chip. I believe it's the morning after you collected the chip. Okay. So you've had time to discuss with the others what's happening? Yeah. And the okay. fact that um, uh, all the pictures of um, Womp in his um, uh, prostitute gear has been spread amongst the party. Absolutely. <laughs> why, do, why, do, why do all of us have such Why? Well, this one has a different justification and reason. Aside from the fact he looks so pretty. Sure, he did. <laughs> Plus, he, he's the um, one the rest of the party voted most likely to survive the um, Ripper attack. Yeah. Well, particularly when the rest of the party consisted of Shadow Star and Jacob at the time. So it was a choice between two pretty elves and a troll. Uh, and you made it so pretty. That, <laughs> we had found that. Uh, Jack the Ripper was quite happy to go for trolls, and in fact had gone for more trolls than elves. Oh, or at least killed more trolls than elves. Uh, um, and so he, in, in four days, uh, Jack the Ripper had killed uh, nine citizens of Seattle. And, and, and 15 other refresh. We don't count. And 15 non-citizens. <laughs> So, so, so quite an impressive um, kill count for four whole days. Yeah, wow. Uh, but, uh, the, so, yeah, so, in the morning then... Uh, so I'll get you to describe your character again. So, Jeremy, okay. you go first. Okay, uh, well, this could be all. I'm playing uh, Desmond Deadshot, the uh, uh, elven... Uh, one of the ancient go-ganger who grew up on the streets of Seattle and definitely uh, he's pulling himself out of the cartoons at the present time. Um, I had recently discovered that apparently he, being an elf, he does come from uh, potentially moneyed stock and he, uh, he's got to make a trip down south of Portland in the near future to discuss the will of his father, who apparently passed, no, grandfather, grandfather. Who passed away recently. Uh, but the, uh, we'll see what happens with that after we've got through this initial stage of, hang on, I'm busy right now. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so uh, with that, we also have um, M. Hello, I play Bolt, the ever loving and adorable Poppy of the group. Uh, I very much do not like oh, guns. Thank you. Uh, I also run really fast and fight people. And then we have Josh. Hello, I'm Josh. I play Frogger. Frogger likes to frog. <laughs> Frogger no cares if you have gun. Frogger likes to steal door. So Frogger, as a backstory, has a uh, big burly troll, bum as a fence post, absolutely ripped in terms of muscle mass, and was absolutely snap people's spines backwards when he just swings for the head with his fists. And speaking of that, he's now wanted for the murder of a executive of a corporation. Oh yeah, the thing that I almost squished to an accordion size. The the orc you killed um in the bar. Yeah. Hey, the the orc that you almost decapitated <laughs> in the bar by punching upright. <laughs> I'm sure it just actually stick with. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, I didn't swing hard enough, the head didn't come off. <laughs> yeah, hey, every other person you killed up until that point uh, didn't get any presents. Now there's a squad currently uh, following up leads on Flogger specifically. That's not I am <laughs> Well, to be fair, it's been found out in the last session that apparently there's also a, uh, a Lone Star cop working the barons trying to flush you around a, uh, a grainy image of what Dexford used to look like a bit. Uh, yeah. I'd, li I'd, li I'd like to say I'd like to say good luck to that squad trying to investigate Blogger. I hear they're up against a very smart, not very stealthy individual uh, wait. <laughs> Well, hey, l luckily you're in the um, Barrens when you did it, because if you had been anywhere else, it would have been a lot easier to track you down. I'm guessing all they know is, like, early troll in the Barrens, which is, like, probably, like, 90% of the population. Oh, no, they've got DNA. Oh, they've got DNA? Uh -huh. He used his fists. Nah, yeah, fair enough. He has big, 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 big corpo. <laughs> so the, I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get a certain pair of gloves at the moment. <laughs> so it, it, as soon as you fall on the radar of the corporations, you rarely fall off it. So um, there are on my side again, even with the corporations, if you have a nice map, they might say, "Hey, yep, we don't want him against it right now, so we'll pay him to work for us." Hey, some of them will hire um, people who do that. Absolutely. Especially because, hey, they're disposable and then they can deny all accountability. Yep. I have no idea why that troll did that. Nothing to do with us. But you paid them. I paid them for some bodyguard work and they just took it in a completely different direction. Yeah, okay. Right, what, is, what, are you, what, are you, what are you talking about that we saved your life? <laughs> <laughs> um. I love them. And we also have Shadow Star as well. That's why I thought I'd give you the heads up that we're just finishing the introductions. Sorry, it's okay. We understand. We all have bad days. Um, um, uh, okay, so um, I'm Shadow Star, uh, often known as the Count or just Shadow. Uh, I got myself fired by doing a bad Robin Hood job on a corporation and currently sticking with these guys is my best way to make money and continue to improve my Robin Hood skills. Mm -hmm. That said, I've missed upgrading my character by just a couple of minutes and a distraction because of Discord, so I couldn't get the crossbow I was thinking about getting. <laughs> Right, there's always uh, there's always next week. Next week? What's next week? <laughs> any any time next week to upgrade. Oh right, yeah. No, we say that with my characters all the time, but because um, I'm 
it's it's not a bad thing but being the wife means that I know how much pressure he's under which means I'm the person who backs off him the most when it comes to upgrading my character so this character upgrade is probably like six months behind because either I keep forgetting to ask him or he's spending 40 hours a week fixing up other characters and so don't worry yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't upgraded anything on Bolt in like no, the last no no I, I think you're, so. you're probably in the same boat um so as I said I don't mean this is a negative thing just as a this is a life thing that that just keeps coming up um and uh I, I find it actually kind of amusing because it's kind of like when you're married to a carpenter but you never get your kitchen extension done or you're married to a plumber and you never get that bathroom upgrade done. I'm married to a GM so I never get my characters updated in in a timely fashion um, and 50% of that is me forgetting that I need to do it. So I, I believe the last time Bolt was upgraded was probably about session 11. <laughs> yeah, so you're right, 16 odd sessions ago. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was with Pan. <laughs> no, 14 odd sessions ago. I added this session minus. number 25. Yeah, mm. I'm added in the minus. This is exactly what I do when I tell people how old you are. <laughs> mm. Well, it's, it's handy that you've actually got your whole character online as well, so it's all updated to what it is now. I think the other ones need a quick update as well. I think I'm like five or six sessions behind. Flogger, last time he got updated was... Session, session 12. Then. No, 12, there you go. <laughs> I was about to say, it would be almost the same amount mm. of time. Mm. He, he managed to make one more session to get an update in, and uh, oh. he has... Well, actually, he's only got 15, so he must have upgraded between um, now and then. The problem, not problem, mm. is that we enjoy the game too much to spend actual game time doing it, mm. and we keep skating through each game that we're like, ah, I'll wait till next time. And you kind of just push it until it's, it's the nth degree, so. And it's like next time, it rolls around, and you're like, ah, oh, damn, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, but you, you're enjoying the game too much to go, I don't want to spend game time right now doing it. So, you know. So and then somehow we managed to eat ice cream and carry on. So is the morning... Got to be important to you, the ability to eat ice cream. Exactly. And the ability to track down ice cream. Mm. Well, isn't that thanks to both Flogger and Bolt? Well, hey, um, you, your friendship with the Universal Brotherhood has been very helpful. <laughs> That's right, I've got to say, the, 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 the generous hospital often brings ice cream on, on available. I'm fairly <laughs> sure my car has all the local and not so local ice cream where he's put into her internal GPS. So yes, it, it is the morning after you caught Jack the Ripper, there was a huge thunderstorm overnight. Yeah. Which uh, the others had, were out in the middle of. Uh, all, all comes in wet, shakes, <laughs> sits down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, you were saying that, 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 that's where we went to catch Jack the Ripper and take him down to the middle of the storm. It's a little challenging. And so... So what do you... Water comes in five minutes later, wet, shakes, sits down. <laughs> so what did Desrin uh, and Shadowstar do with the um, uh, former Jack the Ripper's body? Um, what did you do with the body, uh, Desrin? I've got the chips yeah. still. Uh, the body's still in the back of the van at the moment. Yeah. Well, the idea that uh, it may be useful to turn the body over with the... Uh, oh, no, actually, sorry, I wouldn't face that. Do you think... We should turn the body presumably, over. If, if, well, presumably, it is a body. Because when we threw it in the back of the van, part of it was the potential for trying to save him. Uh, he, he, he did live. It's up to you whether or not you actually killed him or not. Um, uh, I had a feeling that uh, we decided not to kill him because once the chip's out, apparently he may or may not be psycho. So I think the... The theory was to wait to see what he's like when he's conscious, but to make sure he's tightly bound before he's conscious. To see oh, what kind yeah. of a thing. Um, the other side of that is we could also turn it over to Dirty Harry and, um, you know, say, here's your Jack the Ripper and maybe earn some street points with him for later. Well, 
Okay. So, maybe the sort of thing that yeah, we put the body in the we put the, the uh, unconscious person in the back of the van. Yep. As we drove off before the cops yep. arrived. Um. Uh, I would suggest that uh, Shadow Star and or Womp would be doing at least something in the back of the van there to try and keep him alive. Yep. Um, I don't know how good their medical skills are or whether their magic can. Uh, well, magic doesn't work so well on um, cybered people. Yeah, he's, he's cybered. Um, Not as cybered as Womp thinks, but that's because Womp um, just perceives any form of cyberware as a whole, even if it's just uh, armoured plating. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and like, okay. So, the X-Men doesn't really care either way whether or not he lives or dies. Mm -hmm. um, but having, the fact that he was still alive when he went back to the van, I would assume that, hey, you guys are trying to Catch him up as much as possible. Would have made efforts to keep him alive. Okay, so yes, you, you can easily stabilize him, and yep. you do so. Once he's stabilized, I'd like to secure him. You can do that just too. in case, because I don't want to be stabbed until I know what I'm dealing with. I think that might be better. Mm -hmm. Um. So then. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so certainly a different thought would be, hey, um, we can check whether Mr. Johnson would like uh, the results of a test subject. Um, I would Change like him. to see him Change become him. conscious first and have a talk to him first before I start, start handing him over. Um, you know, if this guy's like, um, I've forgotten what her name is. Well. She's, if this guy's like Val, I, I don't see myself just tossing him over to anybody as a test subject. Well, from everything that Val and Freya said about him, he's definitely not like Val. Okay, alright. Um, <laughs> can you remind me so what that was? He, he was... He, he was uh, he was a psycho cyber zombie in their eyes before we put the chip. Oh, in. okay, all right. I thought that it was solely the chip that made him that way. Well, the chip um, gave gave him its own personality. Okay. Uh, it overrode his personality completely. Right, but before he had the chip. You never interacted with, with him beforehand. With, the the others the others didn't like him that much because he uh, appeared very cold and distant to them. Okay. Um, I still want to have a chat with him. Um, I'm not prepared to hand over what is potentially a sentient person. If it turns out he's evil, I'll hand him over to the detective. Mm -hmm. And I'll still gain points out of that because next time I need the detective's help, he'll remember we solved a huge case for him. Mm -hmm. Well, except that the detective won't be able to take him to the court for justice or anything. Maybe. So if he it won't have any be... memory or knowledge. That doesn't, that doesn't mean there's not his DNA on the bodies. That doesn't mean uh, they don't have other evidence of him committing the kills. Um, there's yeah, tons of people who have no memory of committed crimes and have still gone to jail for it. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not saying, I'm not saying they couldn't commit him to jail for it, but you'd be committing him to jail for crimes that, as far as he's concerned, he never committed. Well, I guess... My he probably committed other crimes, like, with Bob and Yeah, uh, well, so, and what I'm saying is, it's never stopped the American justice system, why would it stop her? He surely could be something. So, Shadow's, Shadow is, if he turns out to be an evil person without the chip, she has no qualms handing him over for these crimes, even though, for all intents and purposes, he didn't actually commit them because he did it because of the chip. He's still an evil person. He's going down for something. But if it turns out he's not an evil person, well, then maybe there's something to work with there. But can we really yeah. take a person's word? No, I'm not evil. Totally well, not evil. I'm, I'm who, who would you want to hand him over to? The detective. Which detective? The detective who's doing the Jack the Ripper case. The one we spoke to last session. The one who's chasing your character. Okay. More importantly, the one that Shadow Star spoke to last session. Yeah. Mm. And that Ezra never got a name of or anything like no, that. No, I told you who he was. That first name. Oh, no, you said he was Dirty Harry. Yeah. As opposed to my contact, say he was Callahan. 
Yeah, I said he was he was Harry Callahan, and that we were going to docks to do the to to look at the bodies on behalf of the detective. Uh, we're just pointing out that last session you used the first name and Jeremy got the surname, so Jeremy's okay. character didn't make the connection that it was the same character. Oh, okay, because Warm <laughs> Warm yeah. referred to okay, him as in, in, in the uh, while sitting around in the morning type stuff or. Actually, when we get back with a bit more, a bit less immediacy and heat on, is it the sort of thing that it is likely that the detective's full name would come? It probably would have it in the morning. It probably would have because Womp was. Um, so, uh, Ross and I were joking about calling him Dirty Harry, but in the actual game, we called him Detective Callahan and his first name was Harry. Um, so, we never kind of called him Dirty Harry as characters, just as players. Um, and in which case then, uh, Jason will mention, hang on, that's uh, a, a Detective Callahan that's working around Redmond? Yeah. Aaron? Yeah. So uh, one that is hunting elves? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you... Jake, which, well, Jason hadn't mentioned it to you until now. Um, so what I've written down here was in our van ride down to uh, Doc Ebenezer's, it says Shadow tells Desiree and Womp about Detective Callahan and that there's um, at least one body at Doc Ebenezer's and that's why they're heading that, down that way. And then Desiree uh, says he wants to stop in to a contact called Jimmy on the way. So, as far as I know, I gave you a summary just before we went to talk to Jimmy. Okay, so I, I, that's right. I had a slightly different recollection, but that's okay. No, no, the, I'm uh, writing this down from my memory. <laughs> oh, no, 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 but I'll just say the fact that there was discussion at the time. Yeah. Jimmy told Edward about yeah. the fact that Detective Callahan was uh, hunting, well, yeah, him I, specifically, but elves in general. But Edward hadn't told anyone else that yeah, because he thought yeah. that hey it was just a piece of information for him and if the cops are looking after the old well that's the general and that was written a line down saying that you didn't pass on all of the information you yeah, just right. said it's that the realization at least afterwards mm. that it's actually the same cop that you're talking to yeah he's also there then Declan was making the comment hang on we're talking detective callahan who's hunting elk in barrett yeah. And he's also the lead detective on Junior's murder case. Um, I better write that down. I'm going to forget that. Who the, the executive that... Uh, that I'm on that. Yeah, that I yeah. snapped their head back. Yep. So, do I know that as a character? Yeah. Okay. But the bit I don't know is that he suspects Desrin of something. Uh, he's looking for someone who looks like Desrin. Okay, all right. But I don't know that because that's him and Jimmy. Just don't yeah, want to. But, but you now know that he's hunting elves. The that he's hunting elves specifically. For the. For for some past crime. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't right. say, the, the, the information is not to say why he's hunting elk, but he's yeah. pulling elk at random on the street and nothing him up. And oh, okay, so he's he's not as good a guy. Um, well, he's I not he's not killing them, so mm. technically um, that's being polite in the barons. Yeah, okay. he's he's just racial profiling. Definitely. It'd be nice if I could learn how to spell. Um. Did you so, say Junior's case? Yes, Junior's case. How well, how, how well do you know this Callahan? Uh, not hideously well, but well enough to see that he seems to be on the right side of things. Why hunting elves? Um, well, I didn't know he was hunting elves. I just knew he was trying to hunt down the guy who's... Jack the Rippering, all of the toy boys and uh, girls. And I'll add the same information I added last session was that uh, Shadowstar knows that he uh, wants to find the actual perpetrator, not just um, uh, the the closest um, Patsy he can find. Yeah, he's so he's more interested in finding the evidence for the right guy as opposed to just blaming the most convenient person around. 
Which is unusual um, in the Barons. Mm. Yeah. Uh, That'd uh, be why I wrote, he's a good person. <laughs> That's how I summed up that information. For, for, <laughs> yeah, for, for a given definition of good, when we're talking <laughs> cops in the Barons. Yeah. <laughs> he has ethics. Well, he, he hasn't killed anyone needlessly. Yeah. But you don't want to pull a gun on him. I was going to say, having just watched the, rewatched the movie Animal Farm and the uh, the updates to the rules, animals shall not kill other animals. Uh, yeah. Without cause. <laughs> they come to an update. I was going to surely can always find cause. <laughs> oh, um, just that in a few bylaws here and there. Exactly. Uh, well... God, it's been such a long time since I read that book. The, uh, I didn't even realise it was a movie. I well, I mean, it was a, an animated movie got made years ago. So. Is that like the first Lord of the Rings movie you know, was animated? animated? All right. Um, um, well, I mean, okay. Declan's got no particular concerns about what happens to the body. Okay, mm -hmm. he's just thinking that hey, the. Uh, Mr. Johnson might pay extra for uh, being the what 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 effects the chip had on someone. Look, I'm not saying uh, we shouldn't hand him over to Mr. Johnson or should hand him over to the detective. I'm just saying is, I'm I'm happy to wait till he comes conscious, have some kind of conversation with him, and see if I can determine from there what to do with him, rather than just blindly hand him over to someone. All good then. Uh, in this case, then Declan will give um, Roxanne a call. Yep. Uh, she picks up, um, asking, "Have you got any um, progress updates?" Got the three chips in my hand. Where do you want uh, to drop them off? Two. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't handed it over yet. Well, I'm assuming that while we're talking about stuff, I you talk about with the body goes. I want to know why you didn't tell us what was going on with Jimmy. I feel like you were holding back, and I'm not comfortable handing over this last chip unless I can hey, hey. <laughs> unless I can feel uh, a bit better about it. Uh, well, Jacob, Jacob, what's going to call until we actually had all three chips? Stuff, but, yeah. But what do you mean? I didn't tell you. What do you mean? I didn't tell you about Jimmy? You you went and had a long conversation and gave me two words back in summary. I don't feel like you're being completely open, and I want to trust the guys I'm running with. I've been burned in the past, and I I'm not I'm not 100% handing this over until I know that you're going to be square with me. And from some of the characters' perspectives, these chips are quite horrific. Yeah, and you got to remember, I'm a Robin Hood ethics-based type person, so I, I don't necessarily go after the money. I, I I look at the ethics of the situation. So. And you've already been paid. I know I've already been paid, but that won't stop me. Why do you think I got fired? <laughs> <laughs> I. Yeah, well, oh, okay. Paul, Paul doesn't think that these chips. <laughs> are very nice things to have no it, for me it's either. not about the chips it's about um firming up my trust of desrin um well, because he did go off and have like you know a 10 minute conversation and then gave us kind of this really short summary so i just uh, kind of want to wanna be reassured that we want a way to check our bodies at the time <laughs> and there wasn't anything there that was vital at that moment in time well, okay. Fair when, enough. When, when, when oh. the uh, so one of the things he did talk about though was the fact that yeah, Callahan was uh, chasing the, uh, the, the the roughing up elves in the barracks. Well, that that's and that's good. No, I could have almost stuck my foot in it and accidentally handed you over, which I really right. would I rather not to do. I didn't know Callahan was your contact. <laughs> <laughs> This just shows, as a group, we need to work on communication. While we're having those ice creams, we need to also talk. Compare notes. Um, that, that's, that's really all, all Shadow's after, and she's happy to give him a chip after that. Alright, I'm sorry. Notes? Can you eat it? The, the chip? Are you talking to us, Yeah, 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 like, what's a note? 
Is it edible? Oh, a note. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but Bolt, Bolt is as dumb as a post. Oh, okay. Right. Bolt is as dumb as Slogger. We both have an intelligence of one. Okay. Slogger <laughs> says that chips are edible. No, no, they're not. They don't taste like ice cream. Ice cream's better. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely will hand over. But, I but, just wanted that reassurance. Um, just because that's the way my character's built because of her oh, history. And, 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 and literally, it was the sort of thing that, well, whilst the complainer I specifically said that Desmond did not actually hand his stuff over. Yeah. It was, from at least Desmond's perspective, the attitude of, hey, nothing Jimmy told him at that time was valuable information that he knew about. Yeah. To the, to the, to, to, to want going out there, putting a dress on and, or tip built and getting attracted by Jack the Ripper. Yeah. So, which of and course is what we what we stopped to ask for. Yeah. And so when I didn't get any of that information, it was oh yeah, uh, Jack's been working in this area with the with the extent of the information that I got from Jimmy mm. on that topic. So. And I think for, for sh from Shadow's perspective though, she's really only run with you guys about five or six times, so she's still absolutely sort of building up trust of, and, of people. And in the background, SoCal votes that you uh, destroy the chips instead of turn them in. So SoCal's brought up destroying the chips. Um, what are the repercussions if we you owe to just you owe people you owe people money and lose reputation. Is Oh, mm, De Desrin loses his chance to join the Ancients. Oh, uh, that's going to be a big problem for Desrin then. Um, and wasn't it's not like it's going like to stop the corporations. It's not going to stop the corporations doing it anyway. They can just rebuild the chips. Sure, it'll take them a little bit longer, but hey. So if um, because wasn't uh, that I, I put that chip point on the so um most lucrative out of the, the ones we have and the one with the most No, um, the actual, um, well, I th I'm pretty sure the one that's worth the most money is the Silver Angel file, which we've been waiting several games for Bolt because we need Bolt to pull it off. Um, uh, no, and but I think that... That was worth a hundred grand. Well, actually, the um, uh, data for the um, Georgie and Womp run was worth one hundred and twenty grand. Oh, okay. But have we done that? No. No. Okay. That's the one that you've done the least work on. Okay. Yeah. See, I, uh, I only knew about a few. We are still talking. We are still talking ninety thousand for the three chips. Yep. Okay. What if ninety thousand go... each? Wow. Um. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, so you're talking um, 270,000. Is that that counts as hush money f as well? Yeah, yeah, I'm presuming that it does. So I put it to SoCal, what Desmond has just pointed out, which is that the corpse will just end up finding another way or they've already got other ways to do this. Surely handing these chips back isn't as dangerous as not handing them back. He just doesn't like the idea of anything that messes with the brain. Nobody does, but surely in SoCal's uh, history and, and knowledge, this stuff's already going on, right? This this is uh, new tech. Very new, like cutting edge hasn't been done before. Uh, it, it not on the market tech. Edge. Is there a way we can hand them back and then fry them later? You could probably put a virus on them. That's maybe. what I mean. That's what I'm asking SoCal. Uh, he, he doesn't think he can tamper with them and get away with it. He's tried. Okay. Which he didn't tell anyone else that he'd tried that. So when uh. SoCal's <laughs> telling us to destroy the chip, is he, like, really passionate, emphatic about it? Like, he, He's scared. Okay. So it does uh. impress upon us that this may not be worth 270 grand. Well, so it's going to be. It's not just the money involved. I know. I am just talk, working on step one of the obstacles. We're, we're talking about the fact that hey, if we're going to make a living mm. in the shadows, is there a reason why we can't hold on to the chips for now? Say that we haven't found them yet. We're still tracking them down, and in the meantime, complete a few other jobs. That way. If we make the decision to give them back, we'll have other money. 
to pay back with and will have other reputation built up. And if the chips are discovered on you, that's a um, bad thing. Uh, I, was, I was about to say, I was about to say, chips bad, keeping them bad. <laughs> well, the idea would be to put them in some sort of safe place. Um, you don't yeah, have but one. Then, then they're going to get found. I just, if you I give just. Give them back to the people who made them because they're going to make more of them anyway. Does Sokol argue against that at all? He, he's resigned. Look, uh, technically, to it, but, I'm on Sokol's mm, side, mm. but I don't think we've got the winning majority oh. here. He 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 just finds the uh, idea behind them abhorrent, but. It's the same sort of thing to people who are uh, dealing in drugs mm. or um, people. Yeah, like I, f I find it abhorrent as well. I just don't think there's a way out of this where we survive. Um, and you know, it, it's it's one thing to do the the ethically right thing and get killed, and then not be able to do any more ethically right things, and to find yourself in a corner and then try and, and figure a way out of it later. He, d um, he does say that um, once you hand the chips in, you become a liability. Is there any way to protect ourselves against that? That's the usual thing with shadow runs. Okay, okay. that's no different from any other. Uh, it, it, it's just to be aware that uh, he, he's not going to be at the meet that you're taking the chips to. No, no, absolutely not. Oh, hey, hey. No um, expectation of him being there, because hey. Yeah. Look, it is Desrin's run, and Desrin has the most to lose. Um, and like I said, even though I agree with Sokal, um, I don't think we're, we've got the winning majority here, and the fact is that this is a team. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't think we can, we can find a way out of it. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I don't suppose I've got any history, intellect, or specializations that would help me figure that part out it's new technology yeah, it's there's a, there's always a chance someone else will already invent it yeah. there are stories of um, uh, agencies taking people's personality and um, storing it on computers yeah, okay. and then being able to reuse it yeah. uh, this may be related to that there uh, there's a company called Arasaka that has uh, what they call the Soul Killer program that is uh, 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 whispered amongst the community. Um, yeah, well, I, I'd be guessing then at this stage there's no real choice. Mm. And, and, and to be honest, uh, uh, Earl and Bain appear to be on the better side mm -hmm. of your corporate CEO. Earl and Baines. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. he, he, Earl and uh, was the um, uh, CEO of the company that had uh, created the chips. Yeah. And uh, uh, one thing SoCal does point out, uh, creation of those chips te are technically illegal. Indeed. <laughs> um, and it, we found your chips. We handed mm, them into the authorities. Uh, They're now using them. Uh, d doing so would also get uh, uh, a, a, a completely different set of um, problems. Yeah, no, no, it's it's all right. Um, I I like SoCal am resigned to the fact that this horrible evil thing exists, and I wish I could take drugs and alcohol to make me forget about that. But I am not inclined to enslave myself to those either. Mm. So, after we finish this, ice cream for everyone. <laughs> and while you guys have ice cream, I go and talk to Roxanne. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, at least uh, we had the conversation. I think Shadow... Shadow at least has some sort of peace of mind that she at least put it out there and she said something rather than not saying anything and just letting it happen. That's the same with Sokal. He wanted to make sure everyone understood his um, belief about those yeah. chips. I think we all agree on some level mm -hmm. um, oh, that the okay. chips are bad and, they, and t giving them back to bad people is probably not a great idea, but like, what else are we supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, uh, until Soko spoke up, Deacon was tempted to contact him and say, hey, I'll be with buying shares in Global Tech. <laughs> 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 I don't know. 
Oh, no, right, these ships, are, these ships are cutting eggs. <laughs> the company's going to go places. So. But he'll keep those thoughts to himself. Uh, so, no, no, I, I, I'd follow you. Uh, another note that uh, SoCal had said to you guys earlier is uh, some of the chipset um, seems to be using the Arasaka design. Who's the one that built uh, the material? Um, the, the one who built the uh, uh, personality um, capturing soul killer program that's rumored to be in the shadows. Okay. Basically, a, a way of creating a virtual you by killing the body. Mm -hmm. So they're somewhat there. <laughs> oh, oh, someone wants anyway. to Anyway, oh. Declan will go for calling. Uh, Rockhand. Okay, she she and is all eager to catch up with you. Um, and say that uh, well, uh, I don't know the band. She's going to be the best place to meet up right now. <laughs> she she suggests the um hotel where she uh, uh where you picked up the um, box from. Yep. Okay. That way, it's out of the way. Uh, no one will know you're there. Yep. Uh, uh, well, so uh, we'll arrange a time, like in that, within the hour or something type stuff, if she's available. Uh, she is. This one's happy to get this thing over and done, uh, done with as quickly as possible. Particularly also a couple of the party members who are a bit dubious. <laughs> Did you want backup? And uh, um, she's able to confirm that they found the uh, blueprints and uh, schematics that um, T. He had um, stuck on Junior's computer. Marvellous. Makes it good for you. Yeah. Just to clarify, um, as backup, I mean, not going to the actual meet, but being nearby in case something, you know, in case they decide to get rid of a liability and not by yourself. Well, uh, and that's what I was to say. That's um, basically. You'll organise a time to meet, um, and then get off the phone and say, "Hey, yep, okay." Because whatever we decide, so, I've still got you back. Going back to the hotel and to, to, to meet her to uh, finish it off. Uh, okay, you guys are welcome to come to come with me, or enjoy your ice cream. So, who's going for ice cream and who's going with Desrin? Um, I'll back up Desra and get ice cream later. Yeah. Do you want pets? What does uh Womp and sorry, what does Flogger and Bolt decide? Oh, ice cream now or later? Um uh, Oh, you got a wagon. Um I am going to do uh ice cream later. Yeah, I think we're all in this together, so Flora will go go along. Okay. He's too, he's too agrees. Uh, in that case, then, we'll uh, get back in the van. Uh, is Griffin still tied up in the van at this stage? So, uh, you look in the van and you find the restraints um, uh, look as if they've been cut off. Okay, so he had been left in the van. Uh, he's now gone. Okay. That is correct. Sorry, um, I got distracted. I thought we were still in the van. Or uh, no, this conversation. you were up in Maria's okay. um, apartment at that point. That's my my distraction. Sorry. All good. Too busy running around doing coffees and things. Um, would Womp have at least stayed in the van, or? Uh, Womp's not there at the moment. Okay, so Womp's gone. What Womp has a habit of wandering off for ice cream? Oh, okay. So it's not alarming necessarily that he's not there. It is not. There is no sign of bloodshed or um, any form of violence. It could be that Womp decided to let him go. Um, Alright, well... Mm. Well, I guess he lived. Well, if he didn't live, someone took his body. Uh, anyway. Uh, is the we'll van anywhere around and make sure nothing uh, missing? CCTV or anything like that? It is. You've got um, it in the bottom of a, a major underground apartment. Can I check in with SoCal to see if you can see what happened? <laughs> okay, so... Um, I'm going to say probably when... Oh, yeah, I'm going to use... Let me see. What was that, Em? 
<laughs> I, I'm not meaning to delay. We can still go where we're going, but SoCal can check the footage while we're gone. I was just going to say, one probably took him. Yeah, that's that's a possibility. That's why I was thinking of getting um, SoCal to just check. And um, we can check back with him afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, but yeah, from Deku's perspective, he's taking a look around, making sure nothing obviously missing, particularly from his van and his gear. Uh, um, all, all your stuff's there. He he didn't even try to pick the lock on your bike. No matter how cheap and nasty the lock is, he didn't even try attempt to do it. Cheap and nasty. Mm -hmm. uh, um. Head out then. Okay. And uh, if uh, hopefully SoCal might give us a call on the way just to say, oh yeah, call the, call the cameras. And uh, Walt took him for ice cream. He, he, he broke the broke the things and left. <laughs> uh, Alrighty. Do, do we get a, do, do we get an update from SoCal on the way to the meet? Yes, you do. Yep. Uh, he's checked the footage. He says uh, Womp left uh, about half an hour before the um, uh, cyber zombie did. Yep. Uh, whatever whatever it was in the back of the van with the red glowing eyes um, got out after Womp did. On and uh, on its own and under its own steam. Okay. Just looked freaky with uh, red glowing eyes. Looking surprised me. <laughs> and the audio sensors couldn't pick the guy up either. Okay. Um. Well, from from what he's heard uh, uh, and matches, the, the guy's uh, name is Griffin in the streets, and uh, he's. Uh, one of those uh, stealthy assassin types for hire. Mm -hmm. uh, generally doesn't kill unless um, paid to. Uh, well, hopefully he doesn't have a grudge from us against losing Jack the Ripper. <laughs> so. Well, hey, I'm sure he uh, would be grateful if he knew what happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he probably woke up the van and was like, what the fuck am I doing here? Yeah, where's, where, where's all my gear? Uh, what's happened to me? None of this stuff's mine. Mm. Yep. Well, hopefully he's just, uh, yep, got out, gone home, found that it was all there still left for him, and we can forget about him, but I suggest being on the lookout for him, yeah? <laughs> But anyway, so we'll get to the uh, get get to meet up with Roxanne. Uh, yep, you you pull into the uh, 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 region where the apartment complex is. Do you park in the underground parking? Uh, no, I go for parking down the street a bit and uh, walk in. So therefore, we can at least be looking at what's happening before we get there. Okay, you you manage to get a close park. Uh, th this is on the outskirts of downtown, so it's in one of the uh, poorer aspects. Okay. Oh, where, 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 was it in downtown or was it in Redmond? I think it was in Redmond, actually. Okay, so I can't remember the kids. Is this the hotel that they dropped off the stuff from TV's office? Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember exactly where. Actually, I, th I think it was downtown, so we'll say it was downtown. It's one of the poorer, uh, one of the poorer places in downtown. Okay, I mean, obviously, yeah. So you'll probably uh, pull it into a, 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 a local parking, um, Wilkins parking type equivalent, and the, uh, they walk in rather than actually parking at, at the hotel itself. Yep. Uh, assuming it's not, assuming it's not lucky enough to have some on-street parking in the in, within a couple blocks. So not this time of day. Not any real time of day. You, you basically <laughs> gotta be, you, you basically <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you, you consider getting a parking spot in downtown uh, to be like winning the lottery. Yes. <laughs> uh, the moment someone pulls out, someone else pulls in. Yep. Yeah. Um, 
and then oh actually hang on if we're talking downtown with uh, Bolt and Flogger we'll go for the underground car park at the hotel okay just to avoid them <laughs> avoid them walking down the streets of downtown too much <laughs> Yeah. Well, especially with Flogger currently having a, uh, a, a potential bounty on his head right now. That, that's Flogger's group, not mine. Uh, so yeah, so we, we'll do, a, do a, a loop with the block and keep the anything obvious, but then go to park under the, uh, the hotel. Okay, you find a nice park snug between two SUVs with tinted windows. Black coloured. Mm -hmm. I can't decide if this is government or corp. <laughs> Why not those? You can even um, see the run flat tyres on the thing. Mm. That's right, Declan's looking at it appreciatively thinking, oh, that's a nice set of wheels. Not a bike, but hey, still a nice set of wheels. Well, almost looks as like um, they come sequentially off a production line sort of look. Yep. So, government. And, and, and obviously, Declan's van fits right in. Absolutely. Does not look like a derelict cousin at all. Oh. Hooked on meth. His one is actually fairly new. Oh, okay. Still looks like a derelict cousin hooked on meth? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> But it has had trolls in it after all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And it was just out in the um, acid rain of um, the storm last night. Oh, poor car. It, it does have the acid stains all over the sides of it. I haven't had a chance to clean that yeah, up is yet. Is there a car wash that takes care of that? Okay, okay. So now, do we leave the windows down a little bit for the dogs to breathe? Um... <laughs> the the dog has hands technically <laughs> could 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 let the window down themselves leave windows down dog might smell something and disappear <laughs> it's all right. is everyone coming up to, to, to meet my can or are people going to wait in the van or anything like that um i i i'm happy to come up yep. okay so the two elves come get on. out of the van leaving um poppy behind what about uh, Flogger? Okay, okay. Flogger and Bold, it's up to you if you want to come. I'm happy to be there, but also perfectly happy for you to not come either, <laughs> from Declan's perspective. <laughs> but again, you're not saying that out loud. Flogger, uh, Flogger uh, turns to Bold and goes, resting inside. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Bold ball feels very, very well. I missed actually what you said there, so, but definitely, okay, so you guys wait in the car, is that what I'm hearing? It's an echo of very, very loud. Very, very loud. loud. <laughs> we'll, we'll stay in the car for that game, Trumpy game or something. <laughs> okay. I'm not okay. sure how to take that. It won't be long. Flogger suggests you wrestle in the car. Bolt says she feels very loved. Are we looking to see little flogger boltlings later on? Is this a euthanism? Well, considering they're both male, that would be a very interesting euthanism. Yeah, I was about to say, because we're the same gender. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I didn't know that. But, hey, neither of them are probably smart enough to know that that won't happen, so, um, hey. Uh, yeah, Doesn't stop them from trying. All right, let, let's yeah. move on. It won't be long, uh, and he'll make certain he leaves the, uh, the radio out of the car so that therefore they'll be able to hear our call for help if we need it. Yeah. <laughs> What's this location look like? Uh, so you're basically in uh, what appears to be a complex car park for uh, a set of uh, apartments. So you'd have cages for people storing their gear, mm -hmm. some walkers, uh, various cars uh, filling the parking spots. Mm -hmm. Because in downtown, most people don't drive to work. 
Unless work's not in downtown. Um, and the actual meat, is that in this car park? No, it's up upstairs in okay. the apartment. Okay, oh, right. Yeah, all right, cool. And it's old enough that there are no elevators. That's fine. Um, I presume I'm fit enough to do stairs. Mm -hmm. This is one advantage of role playing. I don't have a disabled body. <laughs> well, at least you don't have to have a disabled body. Yeah. Okay, yep, so Dekron and Shadow Style start heading upstairs. So Take a look around and make sure that there's not actually obvious uh, corp or government goons that happen to be monitoring and watching everything we're doing. Yep, uh, same here. Ten minutes later, you'll find yourself on the floor with Roxanne's room. You're sure that there's probably about one or two goons you've spotted. Um, uh, you think they're more to keep her safe than to attack you. There doesn't seem to be enough to uh, keep you pinned down. But, en but enough to cause you trouble if you cause trouble. That's all good. You wouldn't expect her to be defenseless. No, 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 okay. We've got no plan for causing trouble. Yeah, especially with Womp and... Uh, sorry, with Flogger and Bolt left in the car. <laughs> Might be trouble down the garage, but hey, that's not us. So is that where you have the sign, don't come on knocking if the cars are rocking? <laughs> so, uh, Something yeah. like that. So yes, uh, you, you uh, reach the door. Uh, as you do, before you reach out and knock, the door opens up. I'm going to say, I'll give it the knock and then... Uh, happy the door opens first. All good. And you can see yeah. Roxanne sitting at a desk with um, a uh, chip reader. Um, does it appear the door open, did someone open the door or does it appear the door open itself? Uh, it appeared to open itself. Okay. Um, and there's apparently no one else in the room? Apparently no one else in the room but the bathroom door is shut and could quite easily have people with weapons in there. Yep, yep, that's right. There's more just confirmation that Erlen wasn't actually also mm -hmm. gracing up with his weapons again. So. Well, you, you're um, sure that part of the um, uh, distancing himself from the affairs is uh, why, she, why they have Roxanne doing the um, negotiations? Yep, uh, and I wasn't expecting it on there, or just confirming he wasn't, so that's all good. Um, good morning. Yes, uh, morning, how are you doing today? I, I, I hope you've brought the chips. Got them right here. Well, if you uh, hand them over, I can verify that they're correct, and then you can get your payment and be on your way. Right. That's what we want. All right. Uh, you'll hand over the chips. Uh, she plugs each in and uh, runs a um, check over each chip. Takes right. it takes about five minutes to check each chip. Anything's having fun. Uh, some back fork, like fork in his head thinking, man, I really hope SoCal didn't screw us over by giving us some fake chips. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he values our lives enough that he hasn't, so... Um, Shadow has no such thoughts. Okay. If he's got the ethics to question handing the chips in, he's got the ethics not to kill us. Well, he'd already tried to sabotage the chips. Did he? He told, he told yeah, you he's telling us. <laughs> no, uh, no he, he did tell you on the yeah, day. But he didn't tell after, after the fact. After the fact, yes. <laughs> so yes, uh, so after about 15 minutes, she's verified that all the chips are as you say, and um, she then gets on her phone and uh, uh, runs a program. And then your uh, data tip you got from them earlier beeps and, and says the funds have been updated. Marvellous. Uh, and... Uh he, he is uh, back and feeling comfortable again? Uh, he'll probably take a while to recover. Uh, running away from uh, his comfort zone really did a number on his head. Mm -hmm. And trusting a uh, uh, junior was not a good career choice for him. It didn't work well for him, and I hope he's learned his lesson, but, uh, and I'm sure that uh, Bible Tech will accept him back into the family with open arms. I'm sure they will. Um, 
also be aware that uh, uh, one of the uh, runners that hit the building was Jack in one of those chips. He's still out there somewhere. Uh, we got a lot. We got it out of his head, but he uh, got away. Uh, what about the other two? Right. What about the other two? If uh, people had these chips in, she can tell that they've been used. Yep. Uh, the uh, the other two uh, did not go down quietly. So they're they're dead. They're out of the picture. Before it's yeah. too late, because I often think of these things after the fact. Um, even though they probably have the tick and everything to easily identify me when I am in the meeting I do keep my hood up and, mm -hmm. and keep my face in the shadows as much as possible yep. that's okay I wanted to talk to you about whether or not I can buy a specialised jacket hoodie thing that kind of hides things, hides things yeah. it is possible because I think we talked about it in the past but we haven't finalised it so sorry yes you, you've uh, gotten payment on your credit chip So each of you have been paid for the run. And she says um, she will be in touch uh, if they need more work. What is she doing business? So our bank accounts have how much in it these days? Well, it's it, it's got another 45000 Cool, awesome. Uh, and okay, Jason will give uh, a nod of the head and encourage Shadow Star, who presumably was standing back a bit with, yep. the, with the cowl. Whoop. Yep. Uh, and uh, yep, go back out and come back downstairs. Uh, so, having said, yep, please do business. You've got my number if, we, if you need it. Is that she does? Was that I look forward to I look forward to meeting you again. Up to date. Let's go and check and see what our our friendly <laughs> K9 and our friendly troll have gotten up to. So while they've been off making you guys money, what have you been doing in the van? I'm jumping in again. <laughs> They come back and Bolt is just like numbing on Bolt's arm, and Bolt doesn't care. No. <laughs> what, what? What about the nice shiny bike? Eh, bike. Oh. It's not running. I can't chase it. No, fair enough. But it can go fast. Scratch okay. not chewing on the rear tire of the bike, to be honest, because it's one of the few times you'd actually catch it. That's rubber. Prefers <laughs> <laughs> steel cables. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> prefers the metal exhaust. It may or may not have marks. Teeth marks in it. Hmm. Patina, that's what they call it. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so you, you make it back to the van, and surprisingly, it's still intact and in the same spot. Yeah. Yes, Degrin is privately very surprised. <laughs> yeah, we can behave. <laughs> and the, uh, the, the, the two uh, black SUVs are still either side? They're still either side. Yeah. And we'll get back in the van and call this out, so no trouble down here. I'm in her neighbor. Marvellous. The log vlog has been eyeing off a couple of the uh, doors from the SUVs. <laughs> Take it you have a thing for doors. I'm I'm literally creating every time I steal a door, Vlog is like putting his impre like his impression, which is never ever accurate, on fifty two cards of a deck. Ah, I see. You can't really have six cards. <laughs> so um, you're gonna make a deck of cards out of fifty two doors? Yep, that is exactly that is exactly my plan. And then go to the tower just after. Thankfully, today it isn't the pretty, pretty corporate slash government cars. Yep. 
But the problem, the problem is they're all different like shapes and sizes of doors, so the deck's going to be an absolute mess. That's well, okay. So, for that means, uh, Flogger will still be able to use it like a normal deck of cards, but anyone else will be able to know what every card is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Flogger and, and Bolt won't be able to card count. Everyone else will easily be able to card count. The, uh, that, except, of course, no one else will be able to lift the cards. Yes. Um, I thought I might be able to. I'm not as strong as Flogger, but I'm almost there. Listen, the answer space is going to be bankrupt for at this step. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what's this, um, run we've got that's worth 120 that involves Flogger? Well, that one actually, the, the one that um, is 120 involves Georgie and Womp. Oh, Georgie and Womp. Okay, so that's the DNA DOA one. Yep. Okay, alright. Mine, mine was fairly easy. Mine was just protecting the rock chick. Okay. Which, Which you I haven't finished yet. Uh, um. Yeah, okay. Um. But uh, it's certainly something that. Uh, we probably won't try and get. Uh, so Cal at least to do as much kind of digging as he can on the uh, these dragon knights and uh, I was going to suggest that since we have Bolt maybe we work on Silver Angel yeah, uh, get the Crimson Crush off her back yeah because uh, so there's that file we did a, a bunch of research for back in session 21 I want to say, jeez, it's, it's it's before session twenty-two, um, and we'd established the optimum time was to do it two a.m. We lined up uh, Queen Conchita and the Mitsuhama ex employee. So that would have been session twenty. Yeah, twenty. Um, so we kind of had everything except for Bolt. Um, and that was, was that the one where we're supposed to take uh, the Johnson with us? That was the one where you had to do the planning with the Johnson. Yeah, yeah. I did a plan and with any Johnson. actual planning had to have the Johnson in attendance. Eve Donovan. Yeah. I was looking for her name. Uh, but I can't see it. I've got a lot of notes here, though. Um, okay, so, so is the planning being done with it? Um, I think all we've got to do now is finalise the plan to actually go in with Bolt. Um, so I think there's maybe one more, one more planning meeting where we confirm that we're we're going to do it now. Um, unless you want to just do it, um, because well. we've we've set up everything else. So, uh, uh, as a player, I missed significant parts of this particular one. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the, and, and so, yeah. So, so, what so is the, the player who it actually pertains to. So, what, yeah, what, what I've got plan? here is um, so we, we got two contacts lined up. Uh, one of them was the ex Mitsuhama Tech. Is it Dr. Blood or Mr. Blood? Uh, Mr. Blood. Mr. Blood, who is um, a member of a body chop shop called the Blood Brothers. Um, and we acquired intel from him, uh, Harahiko Blake, um, about uh, how, to, how to find the file we're looking at. Um, we also met with Queen Conchita, um, also known as Karen Whisper who had the system map from her departed partner, um, who was a well-renowned cyber hacker? Mm -hmm. Decker? Decker. Yep, yep. Um, and so the advice was the optimum time to break it, because we have to get into the Calavid Research Centre itself, um, and to get access to the Calavid Research Centre, we need Bolt, because it's got bio lots and apparently she has the DNA that will get us in. Um, we have to do it at 2 a.m. Uh, so if you have a look at locations, you'll find Cavalid Research Center with an exterior map, an upper level, a ground level, and a lower level. 
as well as a um, do, do, uh, security. There's also a matrix presence for it, which has its own um, map. Um, the well, I actually only finished up work now, so it was back to this. I uh, uh, I want to talk ah. again to SoCal and uh, yep. pick up a or collect some more of these hard, effectively login chips. And obviously, he can look through my eyes for much of the run, hmm. but he gives us the appropriate stuff to plug in so that he can get access to the system when he needs to. Yeah. Well, you, on there you've got SPU12 is where you have to get to because it is the one that is disconnected from the system. Okay. Um, and Haruhiko gave us the directory, the frequency to static out the hallway cams, uh, a mag lock, uh, a way to bypass the destruct merge, and a complete and accurate... Uh, a map of the computer system and the building uh, which we gave to SoCal so technically SoCal's already been working on the background of this okay, so that's where the other other ones come in giving you that's the outside of the building yep. where the building is the little F in the centre and We're that's F. and that's the building um, itself with its uh, upper level, its entryway here, and its lower level. So there's a lot of stuff right. there to go through to figure out how you're going to break into that place. Indeed. Considering that's uh, also... Um, what that, that's, what get that's in downtown uh, Seattle. Not far from the city centre. So the plan is oh, to okay. go in, I think, um, disguised as Camelot stuff yeah had well, certainly okay, so i'm surprised it's in downtown with all those trees and hills around uh, so so downtown has um the city center been very much um um paved and then all its little communities around it that's considered part of the downtown region but not the yep, city center okay. so one of the arcologies um, is not in downtown but it's in the downtown city center but it's still in downtown yeah, okay. Um, so looking at the exterior map, we've got F is the building we need to hit. Uh, B is a car park, I'm assuming. Well, if you look on the side um, next to it, you've got A is the oh, road sorry, entrance. Yep, yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, car parking, loading mm -hmm. dock. It's something I prepared earlier. Yep. Yeah. Uh, e is the E under the D? Uh, e is technically somewhere on there, but I think that they made it impossible to read. I would put E on the, um, uh, I, I'd say E would oh. be somewhere around there, but it's okay. it's not visible on the map. Okay, yeah, so D and E are not the emergency exits lead through the ground level map, is that what yep. you're okay? right. um, So the building... It actually somewhat built into the hill, is that what we're saying? It is built into the ground, yes. In the into the side of the hill. Um. And it has lots of um, uh, interesting points there, including where the matrix nodes can be um, plugged in. Uniforms. If Harahiko did not give us them, 
Well, you had. Let me see if I go back to where I have my notes. Um, Oops, uh, and two, we want to see. We need to disguise. So you cult. had four different plans: a flashy way, a violent way, a quiet way, and an unexpected way. Okay. Um, I suggest our group is more along the lines of either an unexpected or a quiet way and only go flashy hey, and we get caught. <laughs> uh, I yes. like what uh, you uh, said. I, I, I would suggest we, we aim for the quiet way and then we don't expect what will happen anyway. <laughs> I'd say you aim for the quiet way, plan B is the unexpected way, plan C is the flashy way. Actually, all violent. Yeah, I've got to say, the flashy way I don't seem to really got much hope with. Oh, all well, violent. I yeah, I didn't. I couldn't remember the fourth one. It's, uh, the, the, the flashy way, I expect, is what we were talking about early on the fact that we don't actually have a face in the pain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and to do that one, the uh, description of it is you walk up and bluff your way in. Yeah, no, I, I, I think we'll start with a quiet way. And then, as I said, go to unexpected and then go to violent because Splashy's not going to work. Um, the, the problem with the violent way is, you know, they've got a self-destruct system. Yeah, and that's why you, you want to leave that as, like, the last, absolute last option. So even Flashy I, before violent is probably better in this case. The, uh, the, the private parking lot at Part G, mm -hmm. is that, uh, I'm just looking, does that happen to have one of those emergency exits nearby or the executive then to walk all the way from G across to F? I would say that there would be an emergency exit, but they would have to walk to F to get in. But the moment they hit the doors to go out, they'd set alarms off. It wouldn't be a easy out. It would be an emergency out. And I gather Bolt has no memory of Cavalard, even though she can kind of sign in there. She has no memory of it, no. Does Bolt understand what we're doing? Uh, yes and no. Um, well, she has been told that uh, this was where uh, she was uh, held captive yeah. and experimented on. Yeah. Um, my body went probably muscle memory. I think Emmy was asking about muscle memory. You probably have uh, some muscle memory, but the, the, the thing is that would be muscle memory of where you were where you were captive, not of how to get around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I'm mm. at. Sorry, I did cut the first bit. So, yeah, was, uh, we can't rely on any memory, I would say. But we would be wary of whether or not she gets triggered and ends up having a flashback and going nuts. Quite so, possible. In the you room. know, we, we need to have a contingency in case that happens, because... I dare say, even amongst friendlies, Bolt's not easy to restrain. And there's even the possibility that the files you're asked to get relate to her. Yeah. To him. Yeah, him. Yeah. Isn't it essentially this run is like a blackmail run to get them off? It's to get the Crimson Crush off your back um, mm -hmm. because uh, technically you, you did escape from them even though you, they got you from here. Mm -hmm. And uh, from what SoCal has told you of the schematics, this is a biohazard facility. And part of the reason for the self-destruct is to stop any uh, 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 disease or um, uh, hazard to escape out into the community. No, whoops. Which means you're going to be dealing with airlocks and things like that. Mm -hmm. 
airlocks and um, uh, major security measures? Um, I do have great big stars all over my notes saying um, there's four companies related to this facility. Mm -hmm. Mitsuhama being the overarching company, Cavalard being the research centre. Then they've got Renrock who, who, who installed did the, the mm -hmm. security system and Russell Overland who are movers that move about it. My great big asterisk say that the Cavalard Research Center as a cover is the easiest to crack, uh, break into the facility with. And uh, Fuchi uh, have also got a team investigating this place at the same time. Yeah, yeah. If they get there before you do, you won't get paid for the run. Yeah, that's why we kind of need to do it probably ASAP. Okay. Well, given the information that you got from uh, from Chica, I think it was, for yep. the, uh, the system map. Yep. Um, and we got that a little while ago. Yep. And so Carl's uh, checked that out and given us the green light for it. Yeah, so, so yeah, from, has so Carl been able to access the, uh, at least the, the frontline systems in the building? Uh, he has not managed to do that because you also had him accessing the uh, Tetzel system in the Barrens for the Dragon Knights. Uh, 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 I've got no problem with the idea. With, with, uh, 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 not knowing exactly how much time we've been talking about, I've got no problem with the fact that we've been giving him a lot of uh, passing or things like that. Mm. So um, he, uh, and, and, and because you hadn't had the green light to go ahead from Eve Donovan to actually uh, uh, touch their systems, um, because he didn't want okay. to um, uh, leave fingerprints behind that someone w had broken into their system. Maybe we should meet up with yeah. Donovan and talk about our final playthrough then. Uh, Once yeah. we figure that out, I realise we're in the middle of that now. Yeah. That's actually, we can ask, ask what yeah. he had. Yeah. The, uh, it would seem to me that the, uh, our best options would be if SoCal was able to take over the, um, the uh, locking mechanism and presumably cameras on the emergency exits. Yeah, um, that'd be a good way in. That's likely be our best way in because it's likely to have the fewest banning. Yep. Um, whereas presumably... Agreed. Uh, the front entrance and the loading dock is probably guarded all the time. Though, uh, if you do use the um, uh, the movers gear, you could actually get into the building uh, as if you were one of the uh, transportation crew. Because they, they do, uh, Russell Overland do drive in and out of the building. Okay. We could also hide um, a uh, bolt that way if we had a, a van, but we'll need to acquire a van in uniforms and we've got to do that very quietly because as soon as they know that we've got a van in uniforms I wonder and if we can buy those, like rent them from someone who's a bit iffy and you, you do get back from SoCal that Eve Donovan works for Aries Macro Technology um, he's done his homework um, works for who? Aries Macro Technology Macro and yeah. they in the grand scheme of uh, They're one of the big, big one of the big players. Okay. So w when you talk about the big players, there are a bunch of um, corporations who run everything, yep. and that's one of them. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, is one of the biggest of the big. Um, sitting up there with Arasaka, Fuji, um, uh, as technology. Way mm -hmm. So, possibly we could pay someone under the table to temporarily lose um, a secured uh, moving van and some uniforms and then um, use that to sneak 
bolt in and ourselves in. Uh, you also have um, details of the uh, security director um, by the name of Jack Jury. Jack Jury? Yeah, uh, D R U R Y. Sorry, who was he again? Uh, the security director. Is that of Russell Overland? Uh, of Cavalard. He's the current security director. Uh, he's the one that's going to have all the access codes if he could be condensed to work or go through it, but he got Cavalard least likely to submit. Yeah. Unless there's uh, some dirt or uh, pressure that we can buy on him for. Um, so we have his details? Uh, but basically, you, you know where he lives. Okay. Um, which means that if you wanted to, you could track him down. It's depending on how you want to uh, go about doing things. Um, I take it we need to try and do this as quietly as possible because he doesn't want everyone to know we stole the fire. Oh. I get the impression that based on the, the discussion of potential alternate ways we could get in, mm. I get the impression that getting the, get, get the file is the important bit. Yeah. Yep. And doing it stealthily. You expect that something happened. And if you get it stealthily, you get an extra 15k. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay. okay so if we do do it without the raising suspicion, it's a bonus, but. So from the sound of things, it might be better to go in as the security. Because how else are we going to explain bolt on the grounds unless we manage to sneak in through the emergency exits, like you said. But that is... Well, they're both contingents. The first one's contingent on whether SoCal can get control of the emergency doors and the cameras. And the other one's contingent on us getting hold of a van in uniforms for the security people without creating such a ruckus that the security people know that they're missing a van in uniforms. Uh, I think option C. Option C? No, that's the wrong bolt on the roof. <laughs> it's a big hill. Ah, you want the rest of me, brother? No, no, no. I have no doubt the blogger could throw a bolt to the top of the hill. But what will do from there? So option C. <laughs> hmm? Option D. No, the job, job is done after Bolt hits top of hill. Right. It's up to Bolt to do rest. Right. I have an idea. Bolt doesn't know what to do. And I, okay, so I'd be thinking that uh, trying to pose as security is probably going to be one of the harder options. The Russell, the movers. That's the, that's the Russell Overland. Yeah, the movers the rather station. than security. Because presumably, um, uh, so if this is a, if this is a biotech and uh, biochemical facility, mm. presumably Russell Overland is transporting some of that stuff. Mm. So Russell and Overland has a contract with Mitsuhama uh, covering everything from incidental carting to high priority secured cargoes. Right. And um, that they're known to use automated and manned vehicles. Okay. Um, well, I, so then, if I, we were able to get one of their vehicles, yeah. And if, to me, they've got the advantage of if we make the assumption that. Uh, the Russell Overland probably use more uh, humans and elves mm. in their group rather than trolls and orcs. Yeah. Um, or dogs. Mm. Um, we may be able to work on the idea of hey, uh, we can be transporting some. We could be transporting chemical drums. Oh, yeah, chemical which, drums, yeah. Which can then hold. Uh, members of the party who may not necessarily be uh, suitable for pretending to be overland uh, transportation. 
So the logistical question then becomes how big a drum do we need to fit Flogger in and how much ice cream do we need to put in there with him to keep him quiet? And you, you also know that the people who are doing the security contract are known as Applied Security Concepts. Uh, everyone except for their um, director uh, belongs to this organization. Uh, and they specialize in security uh, for computers in the... Uh, uh, for physical security and computer security. And uh, mm -hmm. they're... they're rumoured to be in the process of being bought out by Lone Star Security. Okay. Uh, so, so that's the security staff, not the technical staff. Right? That's, that's the security staff of the building. On the building itself, yeah. Uh, um, uh, I mean, that could be something else. Uh, um, if we can get hold of uh, security uniforms mm. as well, then some of the, uh, the containers could be filled with uniforms and we can get changed after we get past the loading block, etc. It could be that well, we can organise a, a meeting with Eve and see if she can help us acquire um, moving vans, security uniforms, that kind of thing. Um, or give us contacts for to acquire that, or maybe go back to our current contacts to see whether or not they can give us stuff. But I think our current contacts have given us everything they've got. I would expect so. Yeah. yeah. Um, e but maybe the reason she wants to be part of the planning is because she does have access to some of this stuff, or knowledge that would give us access. Um, do the, uh, or can we find out if, um, the, uh, the transportation company inside the house, mm -hmm. have they got regular delivery and or pickup times? Uh, they appear to have regular windows and they seem to use Aries road haulers as their uh, main vehicle. Well, uh, go. going in and out of um, the facility. That, is that Russell Overland? That's Russell Overland. Well, there Russell you go. Overland. We can tell her we need a hauler. Uh, well, uh, Russell Overland's all we've got to be looking for, so I might have to try and uh, potentially get the, get the route and take over the truck or something on yeah. the way there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then, so if they've got regular windows of delivery and or uh, collection, uh, and we're supposed to be hitting it at 2am in the morning, yeah. do we have delivery times that might meet that kind of window? We haven't uh, got that yet. You, you should be able to get uh, hold of that a lot easier because um, that would require hacking Russell Overland instead of Cavalard. Yep. Yeah. And Russell Overland is, uh, it is uh, small frame security in comparison. Maybe yeah. so. I haven't got air leaks in backup. Mm. So, <laughs> um, so, because I mean, obviously, I'll be part of the process. If we've got to hit it at 2 a.m., um, so, so Cal does pipe up that uh, you could potentially um, uh, delete a delivery from um, the road haulers and uh, take one of their trucks and have it disappear off their inventory for the time frame you're doing your run for. So no one notices the truck's missing, no one notices that they're not doing their delivery, but you show up as scheduled. Yeah, and, and, and okay, that's the thought process I've in my head, but it was more the idea of whether or not they'll be expecting a delivery at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, uh, being, uh, being a chemical... Be, being, a chem, being a chemical warehouse with biological material, uh, you'd expect most deliveries would be when people are asleep and not on the roads. Well, and the other thing I'm figuring, well, okay, if whoever's guarding the loading box sees the delivery truck arriving at 2 a.m. in the morning, um, the, the, they, they could well figure on the fact of, hey, well, we don't get told when the delivery's supposed to be here, so. But, yeah, there's certainly an argument to say it'll be. 
And n uh, none of the reports say that any deliveries happen during daylight hours. Okay, that's a good sign. Um, it, it, and it is a uh, very sus research facility from uh, your guys' perspective because you've heard it's got something to do with what happened to Bolt and yep. that there are, there's no knowledge out there in the shadows for what this research facility actually does. And as much as we love Bolt, she's very unique, so have to be doing quite um, a lot. And, and yes, so we're assuming that Muscle Overland does deliveries as well as pickups? You would assume it does both. Um, okay. Whatever it does is uh, uh, whatever the uh, drivers are told to do. And you said they deliver a variety of different, uh, or they carry a variety of different uh, cargoes? They, they would have different um, cargo uh, loadouts, yes. Yeah, so if we are being a, 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 a bio facility type stuff, if we chuck big um, radiation or biohazard labels on the drugs, the guards are probably more likely to uh, take back out of the way and it'll give us a good excuse to wear uh, full body uh, like uh, chemical protection suits. And therefore, it'll be a lot harder to recognise to who we are or we aren't. Uh, he does recommend that, and uh, doing so could get um, all four of you walking in with the vehicle, um, wearing the suits instead of um, trying to smuggle you, you in. You could easily justify the troll as needing him for the heavy lifting. Mm-hmm. Assuming we can get a troll-sized uh, chemical suit. They do make them. Um, and uh, um, Sokal recommends radiation suit over chemical suit as uh, it will actually give you some uh, protection against gunfire as well. Radiation suit over. That the lead lining will give you a little better protection than the chemical seal will. Oh, fuck. The, yeah. Did you Can we get the indications, having a, having a look at the public website, etc., for Russell Overland? Yep. Um, do they appear to have uh, uniform chemical slash radiation suits, or do they use generic? Um, they they have them stocked in their truck. So we just need okay. to get the truck. If we get the truck, and I say we can uh, <laughs> catch the truck and delete it off the system temporarily, and then go and do the delivery, and then put it back on again. We've luckily got the. Uh, uh, Sokal says it would probably be three runs on the um, uh, uh, road hauler. Um, so first run to go in there and remove the um, job. Second yep. run. Second run when you're when you sneak in to delete the um, vehicle after you take it out. And third run to put it back in again as if nothing had happened. Yep. And. and uh how much time did he suspect we could have between those runs between actually get, effectively getting hold of the truck and hitting Cavalard and getting it back again? Well, Are we talking less than 12 hours type stuff? Or is it we can hold out for two weeks? He, he recommends that um, you, you only have the truck out for um, maybe three to four hours because someone's bound to notice it's missing and ask questions. Yep, that's uh, exactly what I was expecting. Uh, anything longer than that, and you may as well steal the truck, which is not easy to steal. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you want to get into Cavalard, you need it to be on the grid and to be broadcasting. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... And, and so Joel reckons he can, he can hit uh, Overland without too much problem? He should the need to, to delete the truck, put in the false details, and then put it back again. He should be able to, uh, assuming he doesn't get fried while trying to do uh, Cavalade itself. Well, that could be a preferred option, yes. But, I okay. say, if you get fried doing Cavalade, then we're probably not returning the truck anyway. <laughs> so, so, yes, the return of the truck will be the least of the problems by that point. Um, uh, uh, 
but he may have to come in with you to do the run. Yeah. Because he can't guarantee that a signal will reach him from the mainframe. Well, he doesn't really want to come in with you, though. He, he he's basically saying that with a lot of reluctance. Uh, uh, exactly. When he mentions that, he goes, "Hey, it's obviously more than Marco." Um, but yeah, you sure you uh, you love little clip do do hickeys? I, I can plug them in anywhere you need them. He, he says you could, but uh, to actually connect the system, connect to the system, you might have to do a lot of jerry rigging, which none of you are trained to do. So and he might not be able to walk you through it fast enough not to trip their alarms. Yeah, the risk is too high. It says su such a place as this, uh, you you trip up one alarm, you don't get out. Well, plus he also doesn't want to be the only one left after you guys all get um, vaporized. Yeah. <laughs> I get his point. Especially if it's a no, don't push that bang. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're saying being vaporized isn't fun? Who knew? <laughs> well, no, no, no. He's not saying vapor being vaporized is not fun. He's saying being the one left behind is not fun. Uh, yeah. The ones who get vaporized probably don't care. In, in terms of Bolt could understand, no more playmates. No more uh, running. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, we, we, we don't wanna leave we don't wanna leave him behind all sad. Um can I while we're doing all this maybe set up a meet with Eve? Because I get obviously not straight away, we're still yep. planning. But I gather setting up a time uh, would probably be something we're going to have to do eventually anyway. Okay, so Eve arranges uh, to meet you in uh, a office in downtown. Okay. Uh, one that she set up for um, uh, this sort of discussion. Yep. Well, that's kind of reassuring. In the sense that she doesn't want to be seen with us either. Just as much as we don't want to be seen with her, that is. Well, she, it, you, you did find out from Sir Cal that she used to be a uh, big-time fixer until she got caught in a helicopter accident helping a team. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. She's normally, well, at least previously, she was happy to help the people she was working for or week with. Attitude might have changed after a helicopter accident, but of course, by helping them, but hey. Uh, yeah. She, she's uh, got some cybernetics um, as uh, replacements, not enhancements. In, in all honesty, I don't think anyone would blame her under those circumstances. Um, okay, so the basic plan, thought process is we're trying to capture one of the um, uh, overland For, for lack trucks. of a better term, hijack one. Temporarily. Yep. Um, go in by the, at the loading dock and take the contents of the truck into the building. Yep. yep. Or at least apparently take the contents of the truck into the building. Yep. And uh, where are we actually? What do we need to get to again? We, we need to get to that. SP. SPU-12, I think. Okay, so you need to get to where SPU-12 is stored uh, to be able to um, uh, connect into we, it. Yep. Do we know where SPU-12 is stored? Uh, if you go through the various things, I believe you will find it on the lower level. Uh, it gets talked about as I have got matrix that existed. Okay, so let's see, where is the... Okay, anyway, so we've got to go presumably down 
if a duck's dead, we'll find that. We'll go that way if we need to. But, yeah. So. Um, Okay, loading dot computer laboratory. It's not the laboratory. I believe it. Yeah, it is. Area eighteen is where you got to get to. Area eighteen on the ground floor. On the uh, lower level. Oh, hang on. Okay, we've got the numbers multiple times. Sorry. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the computer center. So if you see at the end, oh, it says no. matrix node IOP nine dash nine. That is yep. the input output for the secure server. Right. And presumably, uh, anything being delivered by the any uh, biomaterial being delivered by Overland. comes in via oh, E wait. into area 13 and then would yeah. be taken down into uh, in, area in 5 or 10 and it would be, stored, in to, it would be, sto be stored in area 10 of the um, lower floor yeah I'm really glad mm. you guys can read that map because I've got no chance and because it's actually listed as a biological material storage room that's right, so, so I think it was probably that. I, I, I think it could also have been supposed to go into the, the material laboratory, but I'm guessing the delivery will go to the storage room first and they can collect it from there for their works. Yep. Um, now, how do we get down to the lower level? You get down to the lower level by delivering uh, material to the biological centre. There you go. So I, no, no, I, I just thought, just trying to see if there was elevators or stairs, but if that listed on the map. So. so the basically area 13 um, is a loading dock and uh, has a sealed elevator which goes down to the level below for, for um, biohazard material so ground, okay, yeah. ground, ground level goes down to lower level which is the E on lower level so those two are connected and that's your way down yeah it sounds like that would be protocol as well so that works in our favour yep. and that's like right, so that's easy enough then we can certainly be going effectively straight down to level to room 10 officially and then it, it'd be a bit hard to justify getting lost on the way to get to 18 but <laughs> well that's where the um sensors are then played with and you probably have flogger heading out while you go in and uh, mess with other things so as long as there's um uh, someone going out while you guys are um, going so further. So Flogger pretends to leave while we go elsewhere? Yes, and with the cameras going offline and hearing someone leaving, mm. um, then they will basically assume you're all leaving. Oh, yeah, sorry. After, yeah, you mean leaving after dropping so, off the... Yeah, yeah. so the, Flogger the, heads back to the van and there. waits for us. Because uh, taking Flogger all the way into the security centre <laughs> probably is not going to happen. <laughs> I, I can see flaws in that plan. Same here. <laughs> or more importantly, I can see doors in that plan. Same here. The question is, is do we drop someone like myself to a company flogger um, and leave, say, you, Desrin and Bolt to go down to the needed floor? Because... Um, that uh, way, if well, Logger does get distracted, there's someone who could always motivate him to stay on track with ice cream. There's also hopefully Womp will be there when you're actually doing the run. Mm. That's right. And, and possibly Georgie. And possibly Georgie. Mm. Um, but, well, I'm thinking that uh, it won't really be feasible to leave someone at the loading dock initially. Mm. Because... I figure it's likely that uh, the, with the the transport company, they're not going to send people on a truck mm. just to stand down outside while while deliveries happen. So, mm. um, so I think everyone, real life everyone experience, who they do, but I get where you're coming from. Uh, um, but so I, I would think that everyone who gets off the truck would at least need to go down the elevator yeah to get to the uh the, the lower level but uh, um, um 
I think if we send, say, Flogger back, it should be two that we're sending back, maybe. Well, I mean, the other thing we can do, of course, is if we're assuming that the NSA is coming from Tropic potentially try and do the research to find out mm. what the crew of the truck normally is. Mm. Um, That's true. If it's going to be if it's going to be normally a two-person crew or a three-person or a four-person crew, whatever it might be, um, any extras that we have and the inside drums. So normally you have one yeah, uh, one crew yeah. member in the driver's seat, um, uh, another in the forward passenger seat, and a third in the rear compartment. And in terms of essential okay. staff, we need Bolt and SoCal, and presumably one other. Mm. So everyone else would have to be in, well, in containers be or something. Potentially, yeah. we could have extras in mm. the uh, the barrels, mm. and then that means that uh, depending upon the size of the people who actually are visible on the outs, like not in barrels. Mm. Yep. Um, if we send back three people back up the elevator yep. of the approximate same size and appearance in a uh, radiation suit. They can possibly the fake out. engine troubles mm. while we stall for you guys to come back out. Well, you'd expect to go out a different way. Mm. Yeah, could, like, you'd expect to leave yeah. by the emergency exit, um, yeah, yeah. not by the um, uh, truck. Mm. Um, and so therefore, but that's right. So I mean, we can have the fact of uh, if three people go in, three people can be seen to going out. Yep. Um, while the rest of us are still actually in there, uh, completing the uh, completing the actual run, as opposed to uh, the delivery of biochemical materials. So, uh, and then yeah, it's that question of okay. Once we get in, we're going to go through a couple of airlocks. The airlock gets level 10, that gets in up, and there's another airlock at the end of the corridor, leading into the central area. Okay, glass elevator. Yep, okay. Um, Flogger could, could also be useful if things go awry, too. So, mm -hmm. Such as needing to open a door. Yeah, <laughs> considering he collects them. Yes. Um, well, again, Dezra wouldn't actually make the statement out loud, but privately he's thinking this thing could be useful. Privately he's thinking it's much more likely to be detrimental. No. Oh, I don't no, know. <laughs> Never underestimate a troll when you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, there's always the frontal assault if needed. Exactly. Well, that's right. <laughs> or, or, or the distraction. Mm, exactly. <laughs> a, a troll collecting doors from inside Cavalard would certainly be a distraction. <laughs> um, the so, but yeah, so the intent would then to effectively go from ten uh, straight through to eighteen as rapidly as possible. Uh, I don't. Is there any other rooms that are worth trying to do anything with or around? I wouldn't expect so. I'd Certainly say time contingencies and out. things like that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we want to stay on target. Be, uh, so there's elevator in the lobby. Uh, the it would be the stairs at um, uh, number two. That's right, that's right, but it's still a stair somewhere. So, uh, straight up from 18. Um, oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, stairway leading to all levels. Which then gets you to the ground level, and then you can take the emergency exit to the north. Yep. Once you pass the maintenance area and uh, the maintenance supervisor and stuff. And supervisor's office probably should be unmanned at that time of night. I'm oh, sorry, the fire is just there well on the ground floor. Yep, okay, so, so the power generator, heating access, maintenance lounge, and supervised office. Yep. That would be the quietest way out. Yeah, particularly at 2 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, um, that 
would seem to be a plan. More or less. Yep. I think mm -hmm. that I think that's pretty good considering the amount of time we've had to put it together in. Uh, does uh, <laughs> Ocal and or anybody else need uh, new gear or uh, supplies to go through? Uh, Certainly, declan has got a few things that he'll just like to do things to catch up on now that, now that he's uh, actually got money. Uh, Supposed to have been loaned a lot of money. <laughs> uh, so, Sir Cal says he'll probably need to have he'll probably need to have a, um, a program running on uh, the road haulers um, server just in case uh, the automated system of the road hauler um, gets delayed because okay. it's got an auto dial that it will call the. Um, uh, the road hauler, uh, and then uh, bounce back to. It will call Russell Overland server, and then contact Cavillard. Yep. Wow. And because it's automated, um, uh, it's not something uh, they can actually uh, take over unless it's an emergency, and that then would yep. then also set off alarms. Which okay. means that the the hauler will take itself back. Uh, even if you guys jump out of the hauler yeah. on the way back. Yeah, yeah. So once the hauler leaves Cavalard, he recommends you guys jump out yeah. after it passes the main entrance yep. and then make your way back to the rear exit. Yeah, yeah going around the, around the hill to, uh, to where we're likely to come out at D. Yeah. Well, the plan would be to come out at D. Um... Because that, that's assuming everything goes as planned. Yeah. Okay. That's assuming everything goes as planned. Ah, and, and like I could go otherwise. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? We've got um, a Holton Flogger with us. How could it go wrong? Because, yes, because presumably uh, there's been a guard post. Because at the road entrance at A, it's monitored by security camera motion sensors. Uh, yeah. Did it also include a guard post there? No, just monitoring. Okay. So what? Once it um, takes off down the road, um, uh, you should be able to jump out without anyone noticing. Yeah. Just so that it won't it happen. won't stop for you. Go on. It won't stop for you when you're jumping out. No. I don't think that presents a huge problem to any of us. Well, I wouldn't necessarily recommend Shadow Star being one to jump out and move the vehicle. Um, I think we all have to jump out of the moving vehicle, don't we? Oh, no. Only, only the three, three who live. Oh, right. Three people. Yeah. The three that we have to turn back up again. Yeah. After dropping off, after we have to So, um, and admittedly, I think the actual, uh, like, yeah. We may well find that we've got to adjust the plan on the fly based upon who hasn't happened to walk off for ice cream somewhere. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it's always uh, a possibility. Yeah. That ice cream <laughs> really is appealing. Uh, is this where I recommend Maxadon Caramel Crunchy? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that, that might be a good point for us to stop it for tonight because everyone else who has work in the morning. Yes. Yep. But at least, um, at least you have a plan now to take to uh, Eve. And hopefully we'll, we'll be able to have a fuller team. And, and Eve and may and also be able to give you some override codes to allow you get to get uh, access to the Roadmaster that you wouldn't normally have. Yeah. Um, and obviously it's sort of thing, yeah, people can make a shopping list as to things that they need to stock up on and resupply. Uh, in order to do a run like this, so I would certainly recommend uh, uh, stealth and infiltration gear. Hopefully, it won't be needed because it will be a thing, but once they're inside, stealth it'll be good and infiltration gear here. will always be useful, though. So, even if exactly. it is not needed, it will eventually be used. And SoCal has the frequency jammer that um, you'll need to 
uh, he's he's going to try to put together a couple of them. Yep, and, and that, like, yeah, that kind of thing. And, and uh, also, did you just say so? People had. Uh, he's going to put together put put together a couple frequency jammers. Yep. Um, okay, we're ha happy to leave any of the electronic stuff that we need. So Cal can make a list and even get himself, or yep. uh, Deacon's happy to try and use some of his black market contacts if it's going to be uh, take a bit of effort to find them. Let me know. Um, and likewise, uh, comms gears. I believe people need to replace some of their communication stuff. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for that. Um, thank you, thank you. And you have a plan. And more importantly, excellent one step closer to the ancients. Here. Yeah. Listen, Frog is doubling. Frog is doubling down on option C. Just throw balls in there. Oh, we'll figure out what to do. You know, um, I kind of want to just run that just as an offshoot, but kind of like as a imaginary sort of temporary dream sequence flashback scene, just just so that we can live it, but not actually experience it as characters. Hundred percent, hundred success rate because it has happened, and and Bolt is still here. It has uh, happened. Uh, well, in one of the fights, mm -hmm. you, you both got thrown in the middle of it. Oh, like, okay, yeah. Like that with a bolt, though, you seem to be called, but... Uh, I, I, I got thrown in <laughs> my fights? No, no, I think it was, I think it was the group of people. Yeah. I threw into a group of people, and I managed to kill one of them. Just by throwing bolt alone? Yep. No, yep. okay. I, I, went, I went temping bowling with bolt. Well, this is context for the suggestion from um, Flogger, because I didn't, um, either I don't remember it or I wasn't there for that one. And uh, that shows proven experience at that plan working. So, no, puppies, well, teeth, and deadly. And, and, and Declan took careful note of Flogger's suggestion, and it has been incorporated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is sitting back there. Flogger can be the one that carries the container containing bolt, bolt. Yeah. into the building. And I'm even writing that down. <laughs> so we don't forget. Okay. I, I, I've modified it somewhat. You're not throwing Bolt to the top of the hill anymore. You're going to take him right down to the bottom of the hill. Into the, into the depth of the hill. Sounds good. I will <laughs> see. Okay, then. Thanks very much, guys. Okay, so... Hey, hey, listen, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure it's treated the FedEx way. Throwing <laughs> <laughs> the maximum force against the nearest wall. Um, remember that any time, especially any time there's other guards nearby and in public, officially you're, you're transporting highly volatile and dangerous chemicals. Okay, so you <coughs> PS, yes, then. Put it down and then stomp on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, th th there, is a, there is a very high chance you might actually be transporting radioactive material at the same time. The, the thing is, is if you, you term it as highly volatile and deadly chemicals, when you look at the fact that bodies are made up of, of molecules and things, that is essentially what Bolt is. Highly volatile and deadly chemicals. <laughs> um, so I'd suggest you didn't stomp on Bolt, rather just toss her. Uh, I would believe stomping on Bolt would make it even more highly volatile and deadly. <laughs> Maybe towards you, though. Vlogger has to sleep sometimes. Bye-bye. I will see you on Friday. I will see you on Friday. We do have Pathfinder on Friday. And now we have a backup okay. if Skype doesn't work. All good. Okay, then. Have a good right, night, good all. Night, Thanks very much. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, say that while you went with <laughs> Well do.